He's a legendary comedian, a Chicago native, and household name for more than 30 years. He's got a summer series going on at Windy at the City Winery, and he is here to tell us all about it. Damon Williams, hey. good to see good you. To see Thanks you. for coming in. Thanks for having me in after the food. Um, <laughs> I know. It was, it was yeah, okay. so good. So yeah, good. I can just good. let you know it was Definitely. so good, but it's nothing like the subway you used to serve up. Because no, <laughs> that. <laughs> that's really where you really get an entrepreneur, yeah. aren't you? Just yeah. Just a little entrepreneur. At heart. Yeah, definitely. I always wanted to be um, self-employed, so to yes. speak. And so I did do a franchise first, but it didn't work out. You know, it was way before Jared took the fr franchise <laughs> yeah. national. Honestly, yeah. and trying to compete in Chicago with Subway versus, you know, the big old Fantanos and Mr. Sure. Submarine. So yeah, it was it a little tricky. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have toured internationally for the last 30 years. How yeah. is it being a guy, a comedian from Chicago, and we are a comedy sub, yes. to go to other towns and... and to different audiences. Is that difficult? No, it's easier because it? Chicago kind of hardens you okay. for <laughs> the other places, you know, yeah. like because we have a very savvy comedy audience mm -hmm. and they've been spoiled. You know, we have so many comedians and comedy franchises and situations from Second City to yeah. Zanies to, you know, Riddles where I do my shows um, that, you know, our audiences expect the best. So mm. once you leave Chicago, you know, you can go to Toledo and kill it. Yeah, oh, you got it started at all jokes aside. I Absolutely. remember when I, that's a tough audience there because I can remember being in the audience and I'm like looking at somebody up there bombing and I felt so <laughs> bad. Bad for them because those audience is tough. Yeah, well, clearly you were at the open mic because um, <laughs> and that's the thing. You know, comedy is trial and error. You can't stand in the mirror and people say, you stand in the mirror and practice? No, until you get in front of people and make them laugh and you don't really know what it works. Uh, but All Jokes Aside was the mecca. Yes. All, you know, it was like a renaissance for black comedy especially and everybody came through there. Of course, Bernie Mac and Adele Givens, mm -hmm. who was the host when I first started. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, George Wallace's and Dave Chappelle's, they've all been mm -hmm. through that stage. So it was a mag magnificent place. George Wilborn, who was the house yeah. MC, yeah. and actually my cousin. Oh. Um, we met the day before I did my first stand-up at All Jokes Aside. We didn't even know we were cousins we're until we okay. started doing it. Yeah. Hilarious. How, how has your comedy changed from when you first started 30 years ago? It got better. Yeah. Funny, <laughs> uh, but it's more fluid and it's more spontaneous. Back then, I was more robotic. You know, you had a set and you do your jokes. I remember once I had a heckler at All Jokes Aside, and he was funnier than me, mm. and he interrupted my flow, and it just threw me off. And my cousin George went up there and smashed him, and then I watched that tape and I said I'll never let a heckler win again but now you know it's, it's not like I write material yeah. I kind of like live it and then experience and expose it to the audience so that's really the difference uh. and you've kind of done a lot of different things because I heard you worked with Jenny Jones yeah I was oh, on Jimmy's wow. show for a lot of episodes yeah, yeah I mean but what were you doing I mean because they they asked you to come on I mm -hmm. imagine to warm up the crowd no I came on it was the year after the tragic situation when someone got killed mm -hmm. after a guest anyway yeah, yeah. she yeah, wants to have a that. season of fun so okay. I went on to do stand-up but they ran out of time for my five minute segment. She said, dude, they said, gave me two minutes. And I just commented about the show. And she knew as a former comedian that that was difficult to do. Uh -huh. And so they like brought me back in to do things. Then I did characters and I, I was miniaturized. I used to fly around, had different <laughs> stuff. So yeah, but it was a great run. And I still keep in touch with her on Facebook to this oh, day. Oh, dude, that's yeah. so funny. Mm -hmm. With all the things you do, the podcasting, do you have a favorite thing you do or just anything with comedy makes you happy? The live stand up is my, yeah. it's my heart. Yeah. Um, and I love doing it because it brings joy to a bunch of people. Or it's, it's a communal aspect mm -hmm. of just laughing and joking and there's singing and there's, you know, comedy and people have so much stress nowadays yeah. for two hours you you know relieve all that stress and have a good time so stand up but doing radio was really a, a great thing too I was with Tom Joyner the legendary radio mm, host yeah. for like eight years and I appreciated that as well now acting um, so acting I, I'm catching the bug you know I've done some cameos I'll have a leading role in a movie called Heaven on 7 which yep. is on Tubi which all movies are on Tubi now <laughs> um, but I have a few things on there and then we do sketch comedy which we just shot a skit for a creative hustle which is a Chicago based guy Jay Davis he patterned in after Robert Townsend's Partners in Crime with all oh, Chicago okay. artists, yeah, yeah, yeah. sketch, yeah. comedy, music, yeah. you know, stand up. So we're working on the second season of that now. So there's a lot going like, on. Oh, no. awesome. Hopefully the strike will be over real soon and y'all can get back to work. Yeah. Well, we're working in the meantime. We're not crossing the line, but we're, you, we're at least we're compiling our, yes. our material. Creative yes. material. Creative. So tell us about the City Winery Tour. So you're going all around the country, huh? Well, actually, starting in Chicago, uh, I did summer at the city because most of my shows are in the south suburbs, as I mentioned at Riddles. Yeah. But I wanted to be in the city because I love this city so much in the summertime especially giving people to come downtown so the next one is sold out this thursday but okay. there's one left which is august 20th uh, i mean august 22nd i'm sorry uh <laughs> this one is july 20th so look for that citywinery.com
Williams.com. Everything I'm doing is on DamonWilliamsComedy.com. I'll be with Frankie Beverly uh, <gasps> Labor Day weekend at the Ooh. Horseshoe. And I'm starting a series at the Hammond, I mean, the um, Joliet Casino, Hollywood Casino, starting late August. So I don't know how you keep it all straight. <laughs> it's a lot going on, man. I got the, got the Martha's Vineyard Comedy Festival for three wow. weeks in August. So it's a lot going on. Oh, yeah, yeah so make sure exciting. to follow him on yeah. social media and his uh, pay, uh, website as well, DavidWilliamsComedy.com, yes. because a lot's going on. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's amazing. I'm going to get a taco. You. Okay, yeah, we got one over there for you. It's really good.